or so. When you have some specific times, drivers may be at risk. That's right, and scientists are warning that there could be an increase, and they're expecting there to be an increase in deadly crashes across the country. Believe it or not, they don't expect this to be when the sky goes dark. Millions are expected to hit the road just to get the best possible view of the eclipse, but locations on the path of totality aren't where it's most dangerous for drivers. Interesting enough, they don't occur at the moment of totality. Au contraire, it's usually about a, a two to four hours later that we find uh, are the greatest increases when people are returning home after the eclipse is over. So that was Don Redelmeyer. He and researchers at the University of Toronto took a close look at data from the 2017 solar eclipse here in the U.S. He says the number of crashes spiked by more than 30% during the week of the eclipse. According to Redelmeyer, there's approximately 114 car deaths in the U.S. each and every day, but the numbers jumped to 189 per day leading up to the celestial phenomenon in 2017. He believes we could see similar numbers, if not worse, leading up to and after Monday's eclipse. Clips. The researcher says across the country, roads are going to be packed with families driving unfamiliar routes. They could be distracted after seeing the eclipse or even viewing it from an unsafe location on the side of the road. So he says two to four hours after the eclipse in locations that are two to four hours from the path of totality, that is where drivers need to be on high alert and especially careful about following the rules of the road just to make sure everybody can enjoy the eclipse but get back to their loved ones safely. Dan.